know if my ear serves me right, you have some writing background, or at least so you read a lot. Um, there you go. Yeah. Um, and and while I want to say that was, you know, obviously your your talent and your training shows it written like a. Uh, a New Yorker article. <laughs> it's hard to get those, but um, but so I want to while while saying I enjoyed that part of it. I also want to caution the oh my God I'm not classically trained. Um, mostly by saying I never got above a C in every writing course I've ever taken, and I've only taken a couple. That it's it's to me and about page and and copywriting in general is more about uh, conversating and communicating. So if you can do that. You, you can you can write so while training always helps um, and and obviously it helps in your case it, it read very well and it was very cleverly put together but not necessarily required that it, everyone has their own style and that helps to form part of yours that wrote but not necessarily needed so, but yeah I thought that really shown and I, I liked it could you one other person yeah someone else want to share sure why don't you go ahead and read what you have. <coughs> um, hi. Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm kind of working on that first part. Actually. <laughs> I'm a recovering corporate executive who retired from a long career of marketing and sales in the advertising, radio, and cable television world. Never being much of a multitasker, I didn't have much time to volunteer my energy to help out the community, which was frustrating. So I decided to retire and work for free and now work for a couple of non-profits <coughs> excuse me, in Boulder. I'm so lucky to live in Boulder, Colorado, with endless things to do with interesting people to meet. I'm a lover of animals, Colorado outdoor sports, and a good job. There was never enough time to read all the books stacked up in my office, so I bought a Kindle thinking I'll just read on the fly all over the place. I have a long list of places I want to travel. Asia is my current obsession, <clears throat> but I can easily be distracted depending on the value of the U.S. dollar's exchange rate. My travels used to be limited to available time and money. Now it's just money. There's so many things to learn about in the world, so I'm taking them a few at a time. I love my new practice of Qigong and learning from Eva Wong at the Shambhala Buddha Center in Boulder. The mystifying world of social media is my other current interest. <clears throat> it's an amazing place to be, and even though I'm out of the current demographic user range, I'm sure I'll find some good use for it to help promote progressive change in the world from a baby boomer perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I liked how you also wove a story. You're very straightforward about what your interests were, explicitly stating them, which I always enjoy. It was a, a nice conversation piece out loud or, or in an about page. So I liked how they, they really jumped out with me, intertwined them with your obvious personality and your humor. So I like that about it. Um, yeah, anyone else? that I remember is, I think I think this is correct, that you like to travel and it used to be you need to find time and money to travel and now it's just money. No, <laughs> I just thought that was yeah, nice to have a good line. Yeah. Always carries Isn't that like paragraph. enough for a about page? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't have a blog, like I said, no blog, no interest in doing any of that. Sure. <coughs> yeah, if I were writing it, it would have been shorter, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Sure. But yeah, I mean, I would have, I would have written it shorter. So if, if anything, I would, I would trim it down. But yeah, absolutely. I felt like I got plenty, plenty of information about you. That's what I was gonna say. Is I thought it was really good. I think there are some things. I think there are some ways you can shorten it down and make it even more punchy because mm -hmm. you had some, some really good nuggets that so. you can kind of lose with, with all the other stuff. So. Yep. Sure. Yeah. The I can't bring two sentences. Of mine, the last three sentences read easily. Period. Um, it's obviously a little more professional, but it's you know it has a short, snappy feel, um, just for that reason. Exactly. It's a little, little tighter. Brian, can you make? You need a battery. Is that your problem? It is. Yeah. What about that thing you're on? I think there are battery cables right there. There are. I just don't need the computer anymore, and I don't want to plug it in just to to do that. See, so you guys can all click over. Uh, <clears throat> and people, I don't know if any of you have seen or heard about the bucket list idea. Um, anybody know about bucket list? Sure. You actually sound like a good candidate for someone to put your bucket list on your about page. You know, like these are the these are all the things that I want to do this lifetime. Like here's, I'm seeing a lot of people do that really effectively. They'll put it in a side column on their blog, or you know, just it gives you a quick glance of a person who 
you know, maybe you can, you match up on something that's on her bucket list and on yours, and you know, it's just it can be a nice way to start creating some affinity between you and your readers. Mm -hmm. I don't actually currently have one, but I've thought about doing that. At seats here, seats with you on set. So, cool. Do you have time for Q and A, or are we pretty much turning over? Um, oh, we do. We can do Q and A later. Yeah, we can do Q and A later. Um, I just want to make sure we get coffee before it gets cold, coffee. and you know, I think that's. You guys have the fear of like cold coffee and old <laughs> coffee. <laughs> old coffee. Okay, it's not gonna be cold. So um, let's do let's do coffee and ask Brian. Grab Brian during coffee break for for questions and answers. So if you have anything further, just use the CU Atlas tag um, because I'm starting to get a little concerned about time. So Brian, thank you so much. Yeah.